Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is in regard to how I worked with the audio CDs that came with the Fleming's Fundamentals of Law Baby Bar Review course. Uh, in short, I take uh, the uh, computer, this is my first year law student's examination testing computer, and uh, an external DVD multi-drive, and I rip the audio files into my laptop so I can enhance the playback speed. So with that, let me jump into another program and go through the fine details of what I did to get the audio into my computer so that I could play it back at a higher rate of speed, and I'll discuss more of that in the next segment. Now, I should be recording my desktop as I speak, and what I want to show you is up here, uh, in the top left says Unknown uh, Album, and it's really given today's date and time here, but this is the album, and uh, this is Windows 7, it's Windows Media Player, and you know, there's my name, so it's, it's under all my um, file settings, but uh, up here, I want to show you this, a menu bar says Organize, Stream, create a playlist or rip the CD. So what we want to do is we want to rip the CD and uh, you might hear that computer, uh, the uh, disc rolling up the speed here and it's going to start uh, pulling in the information. And as a matter of fact, right here, it'll tell you the status that it's ripping. And um, I'm going to take a break here while it does that. And uh, we'll come back to that. All right, here's the frustrating part of this. Um, I can start playing this audio back in this view, but it's really not going to do me any good if I want to enhance the rate of speed of the playback. In order to do that, I need to change the view in which I'm looking at the audio file. And in order to do that in Windows 7 and uh, Windows Media Player, in any version of Windows Media Player, you're going to have to switch view, and I'm not sure in the different versions how you're gonna do that. But in Windows 7, in this version, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's this little logo down there and it says switch to now playing mode. And here it is. This is what it looks like in the now playing mode. Um, usually it's a little tiny square window out here. I made it a larger window for my purposes. And in order to switch back to the mode we were just looking at, here's that funny logo up here which says switch to library. And now here we are back where I just started. Again, that logo is in the bottom right hand corner to switch over to this mode and to go back to the library it's up in the top right hand corner so it doesn't even stay <laughs> it doesn't even stay in the same place it's crazy um, anyways but with that you need to also get this uh, this window here open I'm going to close it for a second to show you how I got that window with the mouse in the upper part of this uh, now pl uh, playing now or now playing window all right you right click the uh, background and then you look for the enhancements um, section menu and then you go have to go to the play speed settings and when you click on that it should open up and then you can move this little window around here uh, I'm gonna move it out of the way because you know funny things happen you know when you're using Windows uh, I'm not a really big fan of Windows anymore uh, I don't know if I ever was after Windows 3.11. But anyway, um, here it is with this. I can play the audio track Beware. at normal level and uh, at normal speed, and that's 1.0. If I click the quick button up here that says fast, I can, it'll jump over to 1.4. Now, if you play it at 1.4, Fleming, or Professor Fleming speaks at a faster rate but his voice, the pitch of his voice, doesn't rise. So check this out for a few seconds. The background facts. Now what are background facts? Don't use them. Background facts are facts that set up the question. One day, Jeff, the walk. All right. So that's, a, that's a, a, a little bit of an indication there. You can go up to 1.7 um, pretty quickly. Uh, I think that if you listen to the material through once or twice, um, you can probably get up to 1.5 to 1.7 at a playback speed. And let's play a few seconds of this and so you can listen to that. Right? I don't want to hear about that. You got to, this is what happens when you guys do your Facebook. The reason why your face brief is so long is you put a lot of, you put a lot of background facts in your, in your face brief. Your face brief should be very short. Take a day, for example. All right, so there you go. It doesn't, his voice, you know, might, the pitch might increase a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, when I'm in my, uh, in my good mode, uh, I can listen through the lectures at twice the normal speed. And that's really where you would like to be able to get. You may not be able to get there, but you can certainly get there to 1.5, 1.7, 1.8. 2.0 is pretty fast. I'm going to play a few seconds of that and you can get, get an idea what it sounds like. 
We all know here. There's a sports case where the old boy pulled out a chair and had to land on Remember all that funny things? So if you're doing a great thing to put, boy pulls out a chair and had to land on butt. That could be your facts, but I see these little... All right, now that's, that's pretty fast. You may not understand what exactly Professor Fleming was talking about there, but I can tell you, I heard uh, about some little kid pulled out the chair from Auntie and she fell on the floor. Now that's a that's actually an important case that he's discussing there. Now uh, listening to it at 2.0 may not be uh, you know twice normal speed may not be uh, the proper idea for somebody just going through the lecture materials the first or second time. But if you're going to go through them four, five, six, eight, ten, twenty times, you'll be able to get up to 2.0 and uh, twice the normal speed rather rapidly. You'll certainly get up to the 1.8 mode. Um, let me see if I can get that real quick. Here's 1.8. It even tells you right here at 1.8 mode. Uh, punch it button here. Facts are which indicates you're putting a lot of background facts. Don't do that on their background. They don't relate to anything on the exam. They're not related to rules. Don't use them. Not every fact is important fact in the law exam. All right, so you get the idea that you can save a lot of time by increasing the rate of speed on the playback. Now, if you went to the live lectures, they're going to give you the audio um, from a previous lecture. Um, they cover the same material. And if you go through the books and you go through the materials that you, you uh, acquire from the Baby Bar uh, review course, you'll have audio to work with. If you rip them into your computer from the CD files, then you'll be able to um, go ahead and listen to them at an enhanced rate of speed. Now, I, I have to tell you that I, I, a lot of the information that I was able to get and that really stuck into my head was from listening to uh, the Fleming audios over and over and over again uh, when I first started the process. At some point, I moved beyond those and I started doing my own uh, research into really mastering my own one sheets and my definition sheets. But if it wasn't for Prof uh, Professor Fleming having this ability for me to increase the rate of speed of the presentation that he was giving it from the audio CDs, uh, it would have took me longer to get my information down the way I wanted it to so I could memorize it for myself uh, for the first year law student examination. So I hope this helps you in knowing that you can increase the playback speed of the presentation and Professor Fleming is still quite understandable in the lecture, and especially if you've gone through it a couple of times. Because I can go through these lectures and I'll know what he's going to be talking about in the next section. I just, you know, because I've memorized all of the lectures because I've listened to them so many times. So with that, I hope this is a helpful uh, tool that you can use in your efforts to prepare for the first year law student's examination. And you can do this with any uh, audio material that you have that you can incorporate into, um, it, it, it bring into your computer and play back with uh, either Windows Media Player or QuickTime in, if you have an Apple computer. So with that, uh, take care and be well.